On this week's Essential API of the Week, we're taking a look at the accelerometer to get the acceleration in 3D space of the phone and create an awesome Tilt Maze app. Welcome back everyone to another Xamarin Essential API of the Week. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some device sensors, specifically the accelerometer. This is gonna give us our acceleration of the device in three-dimensional space. Let's head over and see how to get started. Here I am and where I always get started, docs.microsoft.com. On any of the Xamarin pages, you're gonna find Xamarin Essentials. When you tap on that, you're gonna bring you to the getting started guide and feature guides for every single feature inside of Xamarin Essentials. So compass, connectivity, all the great things that we've covered already. And with accelerometer, what we're gonna see is that, yes, this is gonna give us our acceleration of our device in three-dimensional space, which we can do really, really cool things with. Now, it couldn't be easier to get started. In fact, all you have to do is say, using Xamarin Essentials, and as we zoom in to the API, it's very, very simple. All we do is register for a reading change, and then we can toggle on and off the accelerometer. So start, stop. And every single time we go and get that change in reading, we're gonna get an X, Y, and Z that'll come back to us. What's great is that we can see here that this is coming back in a G, which is a G gravitational force, uh, which uh, gives us some informational here of 9.8 milliseconds squared. Uh, you can learn more about examples of the usage and additionally take a look at how to get the sensor to react in different modes. So whether you're building a game, a user interface application, you can adjust the different settings based on what's coming back. So here I am over in Visual Studio and I have my Xamarin Essentials sample application that we've used before on Essential API of the Week. And of course, I have my Xamarin Essentials NuGet installed into Android, iOS, and my .NET standard library. Also, inside of the getting started, we're gonna need to initialize Xamarin Essentials and set up the permissions only for the Android application in the main activity. It's the only place that we need to do that. Now, for the accelerometer example, we're just gonna do something very, very simple. Here I have three labels of X, Y, and Z, and I have a start and stop button. So whenever we start, we'll stop the accelerometer, and when we stop, we'll stop the accelerometer. So here in the code behind, what we're gonna do is simply add Xamarin Essentials into our using statement and start to fill in our accelerometer APIs. So here we're gonna see accelerometer and I can say dot. Now what's really nice is it will tell us if we're already monitoring. So here I can say if accelerometer is monitoring, let's return. And when I hit stop, we can also come in and say if I'm not monitoring already, you don't need to stop because you're not monitoring. So now let's go ahead and say accelerometer dot again. We can see that I can start or stop, but also I need to set up my reading changed event. So I'll say plus equals and we'll set up a new accelerometer reading event. Now all I need to do is say accelerometer dot start and pass it in a sensor speed. Now since we're on the UI, I'm just gonna say UI, but we can also read if we want um, different sensor speeds for games, the fastest humanly possible, or just the device default. We're gonna say UI here, and that's all I literally need to do. Now, of course, best practice is whenever I hit stop, is we're gonna reverse what we just did. So I'm gonna unsubscribe from the events, and instead of starting, we're gonna say stop. And that will stop the accelerometer readings. Now, whenever we come back and get a reading change, we can update all of our labels. So I can say label x dot text. And here, I'm gonna get some accelerometer changed args. And inside of here, we're gonna get different readings back. So here I can say reading dot, and I can get the acceleration. So there we go, and then I can say x. Now we can go ahead and then of course just to string this so we get the full value out of it. And this x value here is going to be a vector three which is gonna return a float to us. Now what's nice is that since acceleration is a vector three, we get all sorts of nice things there. So let's first go ahead and just fill in our x, y, and z reading so we can print those out. And then what we can also do 
just take a look here at e.reading.acceleration. And we'll notice that what's nice is since acceleration is a vector 3, I get things such as length, length squared, um, and different nice um, things that come in with vector 3s themselves. So there we go. So that's what we're going to output. Now, since we started over here on the UI thread, the important part is that will always come back on the UI thread for me. If we use game or fastest, that's not going to be guaranteed since it's coming in so fast and you want to react accordingly. So let's go ahead and start our application with just a few lines of code to see our X, Y, and Z come in on our accelerometer. So here our app is launched. So what I'm going to do is come in and hit accelerometer and then just hit start. And we can see that it's going to start reading right away. And if I just put it down, we're going to see it's not going to move a lot. But as I start moving the device in real time in the air, these values inside are still going to start to really start to propagate up. So let's zoom in over here. And as I move it around, you can see those values really move really fast in real time. And then I'll hit stop. And it stops right away. If I want to come in and change it to the other way, hit stop again, it's going to stop again, which is really cool. As I'm just moving the device in real time around, those values update really fast. So then you might be saying, OK, well, that's great. I have values, but what can I do with them? Well, we have a sample application that uses the accelerometer called Tilt Maze. It's built completely in Xamarin Forms, and it's dynamically generating new levels. And as I move around the device, we can see that I'm using the acceleration of my phone to move the ball down to try to get it to the end point over here, which is really fun. There we go. We'll get it right there. Now I'm on to the next level, which is super cool. Now, if we take a look at the code for this application, we can see exactly how we're using the accelerometer. Here we have some vectors of the acceleration and the different ball velocity and position of vector 2s. I'm just doing that simple reading change and getting the acceleration back from the reading. It also has a little bit of smoothing here since it's coming in pretty quick. And then down below to move the ball, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying things, time the acceleration and the ball movement to get it into easy physics to move them around based on the current and new position based on where I'm moving the device. Now you can dive deep into the source code. It's all on GitHub and it'll be in the show notes below. But just know that with a few lines of code, you can add accelerometer into your application, use it for all sorts of different stuff, like the Tilt Maze sample. You can get all the source code on GitHub. I'll put it in the show notes below. And of course, watch all the other Xamarin Essential APIs of the week video to learn all the awesome things that you can do. Make sure you subscribe, ding that bell to get all the notifications on YouTube or Channel 9. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching.